Pit and Puck, Puck Custom Enterprises. We're talking about a feature on the pump, which is the bypass. This is what's really, really helped us save a lot of time in the field as well. Instead of trying to rehook the two hoses after they've been under pressure, they kind of get squirrely under pressure and those types of things. Well, we, we simply in, hook the inlet hose to the inlet side, hook the outlet hose to the outlet side, and when we get ready to clean out, from the site, we can blow the pig through this apparatus by shutting the gate that keeps the liquid inside that pump so that the pig will pass through here and bypass and continue out to the field. What we really found was, was very important is that we can clean out from this point rather than all the way back at the site every time, which saves an innumerable amount of time. So we use this pump as a turning point in the field from set to set. We can open this gate four up and actually shoot the pig to the field and as it's going out in the field we can be ready to actually unplug and replay after the pig makes it to the applicator tractor which saves us a large, large amount of time. The entire time the lead pump back at the site can be sitting and idling basically uh, under pressure. We don't shut it down. We, we maintain 60-70 pounds of pressure on this hose. These gates are going to hold it back. No problem at all doing that. We'll have the pressure, the hydraulic line is tight, so we'll, we'll eliminate that water hammer from the site back out to here. And so when the applicator man is ready to, to go, he's now got the pig. My hose guy has hooked up this second hose to it. He's dropped the line that was wet, is ready to go. My, my hose humper guy, my hose roller guy, can go back out and pick up this previous set that was just dropped. The applicator man can open these gates remotely controlled if, he, if we have the light speed function. If we've got a guardian function, obviously we just got to move some valves. The hose humper guy can allow that to happen. And that allows us to, to, to drop a hose and get another set started, hopefully within about 15 to 20 minutes, and sometimes less than that. It all depends, obviously. But this saves us a lot of time, keeps our efficiency very, very high.